Hi, this is Nalin and you are watching Nalin Jana 3D Tutorials. In this short video, I am going to show you how to model a pencil inside Maya 2018. So let's start. So I am going to start with the body of the pencil. So I am going to start from the cylinder. Make sure you have selected this poly modeling uh, self and let's click on this cylinder. Okay. Now I am going to uh, this channel box and layer editor and the inputs. Click on this poly cylinder to expand all the options. And now I want to change this subdivision axis from 20 to somewhere 6. And this would be the sides of the pencil. Okay, now let's increase the height of the pencil by just selecting this. And by cl uh, just click on this name and hold middle mouse anywhere on this viewport. And then drag the mouse. Hold middle mouse and drag to change that value. So change the height or even you can put this number, let's say 20. You can directly put that number as well. Okay, so now I'm going to delete this top faces. So let's go to face mode by right clicking and drag and let's hold control and deselect all these faces. I don't want to delete those. Press delete from your keyboard and delete those. And next I'm going to you know, bevel all these edges. So let's select all these you know, vertical edges and now let's go to edit mesh and bevel. Okay, now let's change this fraction. So let's decrease this by holding left mouse and drag on the name. So fraction change this no depth or width of this bevel. You can see. So let's say I have 0 0.01 fraction and let's change this segment from one to two. So let's let's when you change this segment, it adds divisions to that bevel area. You can see to make it better looking. Okay, so two is fine. Okay now i want to do the pencil top part so i'm going to i'm going to again do the cylinder but the challenge is it's kind of you no know, faceted and that is rounded so now i'm going to count all these edges so let's double click on the edge to select the whole loop and now you can count manually but you can go to windows and go to Sorry, go to display and heads up display and turn on poly count. Okay, so now you can see the age is there and it shows 78 78. It's for the whole age. If I select by double clicking this age loop, you can see at the end it shows 18. Okay, so I have 18 edges. Now let's create another cylinder for the top part and which has 18. Let's move it. So you can choose the move tool from here or press W. Okay, let's go to cylinder and choose 18 here. This subdivision axis should be 18 so that I can merge those or weld those things like this. And let's go to scale and scale the radius down a little bit. Okay, so now I'm going to delete all these bottom faces. Okay, these bottom faces. Let's hold control and deselect all this and delete the bottom faces here. Okay. And now I want to uh, breeze these things. I want this, you now from this shape to this shape, I want the blend effect in between here. So I have you now kept a little bit gap between those two pieces. So let's select both of them and let's go to mesh and combine before I bridge. So now I need to just select this top border edge and the bottom border edge hold shift when you select this okay and then let's go to edit mesh and bridge so now you can see i'm kind of now blending from this design to this round shape and now i want to just scale down this thing to make it like pointy something like this okay here you can see kind of you no know, faceted look let's scale down this loop a little bit i think this is fine and let's soften this you can see this hard edge looks let's select it go to mesh display and soften edge okay fine you can see now it's looking cool and i want a division line here so let's put the you no know, edge loop there so let's go to mesh tools and insert edge loop and add one edge loop this would be the graphite part and let's select this part 
and let's give a material uh, which looks like graphite so select these faces right mouse hold right mouse and then go to assign material favorite material and go to blend okay release the mouse there and you can see now it's a shiny material and let's go to the you no know, right side you can right click on this right side you no know, arrow button and go to blend one and let's decrease this value let's make it a little bit you no know, dark gray kind of not black dark gray okay something like this okay and let's go to vertex mode and increase the height bit and now i'm going to uh, do the you no know, bevel at this bottom part you can see let's first delete all these faces let's delete all these faces from the bottom and let's extrude all this so let's double click and go to edit mesh and extrude and let's go to scale tool and scale it like this let's say this would be the graphite and now i want to fill it so let's go to mesh and fill hole okay now let's select this and let's assign the same material which we assigned here the graphite part so let's select it and hold right mouse go to existing material this time not the favorite material existing and here you can see the current existing material blend one okay now i want to give a material for the body so let's select all these faces select it hold control and deselect this face and here i want to select all these faces except this area let's select all these faces around the pencil and i want to give a basic body color let's again go to favorite material and this time again choose blend and you can give any color by just clicking on this swatch and choose a color so i'm going to choose a blue kind of color uh, you can choose from here you can change the hue let's say you want to give green or red you can choose and you can change value saturation from here something like this let's choose this blue one okay now let me let me deselect all these parts and give it a kind of wood material let's go to favorite material and this time i'm going to choose lambert and lambert doesn't have any specularity you can give blend as well if you want to so let's go to a kind of you no know, kind of pale yellow kind of color and let's reassign that that graphite material so which i think the blue one okay so here is the basic simple you no know, pencil you can even go ahead and texture this you no know, the body and uh, you can go ahead you can put some edge loops and give some different materials you can do that as well so this is it thank you very much for watching if you like the video please subscribe the channel and thank you so much for watching